Yes. Okay, so we're here at the uh, NVIDIA booth at MWC 2013. This is Project Shield. Uh, it's our new uh, Android gaming device. As you can see, it's, uh, it's kind of shaped like a controller and uh, it has uh, Android built inside. So we have a five inch touch screen up here. So this works just like any other Android device. You can, uh, you can scroll around, navigate, uh, just like you would uh, with a phone or a tablet. Uh, but we've also built in a controller. Uh, so we can actually navigate with the controller. Uh, we can use the, uh, the shoulder buttons uh, to go through tabs, uh, to go to different parts of the desktop. And then uh, when we want to get into gaming mode, uh, we hit the NVIDIA button here and we launch the dashboard. So this shows you all your games uh, that are currently installed that have been optimized for Shield. And uh, they're fully uh, compatible with the controller. Uh, they have enhancements for the Tegra 4 processor and uh, really uh, have taken sort of uh, the next level of uh, uh, mobile gaming. So we'll launch one of the games now. It's called Real Boxing. So this game's coming out very soon for Android and uh, for Tegra 4 they've um, put in a whole bunch of extra graphical features. So they're doing uh, per pixel specular lighting on the characters so you get a nice uh, uh, reflection and sheens. Uh, Project Shield as you might be able to hear has really good music. It has a face reflex system. Uh, which gives really good sound, kind of a equivalent to a jam box. Some of the graphics we can see here on in the intro sequence are uh, depth of field effects. Uh, we have motion blurs, so um, as we get hit, you'll actually see a blur on the fist, and, and uh, uh, they pull in the depth of field to give a there we go a bit of an effect that we're get, sort of getting stunned. Um, we have lots of particle effects, smoke. Um, as, as uh, the, the fight progresses, there's actually uh, damage being done, um, ooh, like that, <laughs> uh, to, the, to the players. You'll see them get, uh, you know, black eyes or broken, broken nose and that type of thing. And yeah, really just sort of uh, taking uh, what is a mobile gaming experience uh, right to the next level with the, with the Tegra 4 chipset. And if we jump back out again, uh, one of the other games you might have heard of is a really f well known uh, racing game called Riptide. And so for Riptide 2, the same sort of thing. Uh, the guys at Vector Unit have been working to enhance the game uh, for the Tegra 4 GPU. Uh, one of the big features that Tegra 4 brings in is, uh, is actually real time shadows. So you can actually see them here. Uh, shadows uh, when on a PC game are very important. Uh, they really add to the visual quality and uh, really pull people into the game and, and help bind a world together. Uh, but they also take a lot of calculation. And so with Tegra 4, uh, we've actually uh, got hardware support now for, uh, for proper uh, real-time shadows. So you'll see as the, as the jet ski uh, racer goes uh, underneath uh, different parts of the world, uh, they're actually casting uh, shadows down and the shadows are being applied to the to the racer and also the racer himself is actually casting what are called self shadows so um, as the sun uh, or the, the light source goes over him his arm for instance would cast a shadow down onto his leg uh, and again that's being made possible now on mobile with uh, Tegra 4 Yeah, we've got some nice lens flare effects, we've got water splashing on the screen, uh, bloom effects, uh, real-time uh, reflections on the water uh, as we go over it, and as I said, uh, the, the shadows are the big feature uh, in, in this particular one. Could you turn up the sound? Yeah, sure thing. So, let's turn
So yeah. the final feature that uh, Project Shield has is what's called PC streaming. Uh, so we don't have any PCs set up, but what you'll be able to do is actually play a PC game uh, and stream it to this device. So you can imagine if you had the the uh, your your main PC in your bedroom or in your den, but you were down, you know, sitting with your wife and girlfriend, uh, the rest of your family. You didn't want to actually go away and. and go up to the den, you can actually now stream your games to the device and play on the couch. Uh, so we, we support games, you know, like uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Need for Speed, uh, even like Battlefield 3 and so on. Uh, you'll be able to play right here on the Shield. So um, is that the App Store? You have your own App Store? Game Store? No, that's uh, playing games from your PC. So uh, you will purchase your PC games how you normally will. Okay. Um, you might purchase them through uh, a store or online, uh, as you see. And then um, we have a, a software called the G GeForce Experience that is uh, looking through your hard drive, seeing what games you have installed, and then uh, communicates with your Shield and gives your Shield a list of all the games that you can uh, stream over your Wi-Fi network. But um, if you're, um, you're going to buy Riptide, for example, yep. you're buying that from Tegra Zone? Is yeah, that a well, your uh, app store or? Yeah, for for Android games, as I mentioned, yeah. this is a pure Android device. So yeah. You go to Play Store, just like you normally would. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, you can just launch it straight from here, and so all your Android games that you've already purchased, you'll be able to play straight away on here. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So when is this uh, launching? Uh, it's targeting uh, the second quarter of the year. The second? Yeah. So it's okay. uh, of this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a pretty aggressive schedule, but uh, we think we can hit it. Uh, price points? Uh, we haven't announced the price as yet. But okay. It'll be uh, competitively priced. So when it's quarter two, is that including Nordic countries like Norway? Uh, yeah, it's going to launch first in North America and then in Europe. Um, okay. They're going to be very close to one another. Okay. So there won't be a large delay. Could you show me some touchscreen sure. browsing or something? Uh, I don't think we have any uh, Wi-Fi on here, but you can see it, it is a full multi-touch touchscreen display. Um, we can you know, navigate, we can go to movies for instance, and um, just just like we would normally, um, just be using it like a phone or a tablet. We might have this pinned. So, uh, which uh, Android version is it going to ship? Uh, ship it for two one or uh, whatever's the latest. Yeah. So, with this is currently running the Jelly Bean uh, maintenance release, so ah, four point okay. two, okay, uh, point one, I think, or two. Uh, whatever's the latest. Um, obviously, we want to keep it up to date and uh, maintain you know, cadence with the, the Google releases. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. No